In this video, I'll cover more about profile attributes, including getting profile member attributes and assigning attributes to edited profile members. I'll also cover the trim to face operation, editing profile shapes, and editing profile paths. I have this model open, continuing from the previous video in which I added the exterior walls. Interior walls are marked in red on this plan. In addition to the layer for the floor plan itself, the only other layer so far is for the exterior walls, so I'll create a new layer for interior walls. The interior walls are to be 4 inches thick, so I'll create a new rectangle for the profile and select it. I'll create a new profile named Interior Wall, which is 4 inches by 11 feet. I'll use a bottom left placement point, keep the default material for now, and change the layer to the one for interior walls. I'll make the junctions butt joints so that each wall will be created as a separate profile member. This will make it easy later to make changes to individual walls. And I'll keep the normal extrude mode. I'll click Build and start tracing along the interior wall lines, ignoring cuts for doors. I'm using the left and right arrow keys to lock directions, and after each set of walls I'm pressing Escape and continuing with the next walls. I've purposely left out the walls for this closet. It can become hard to keep track of which build direction matches the bottom left placement point, so some of my walls are on the wrong side. When I'm finished, I can shift select all of the walls that are on the wrong side, which is easiest to do while in top view in parallel projection. I'll right click on any selected wall and choose Profile Builder, Reverse Selected. Now everything matches the floor plan, and I'll go back to perspective view. I have some wall junctions that need to be fixed, which I'll show a bit farther on. Now let's say I want to change the properties of these interior walls. To make them light blue, I'll find a swatch in the materials window and right click on it to add it to the model. Mac users will have to actually use this paint somewhere in the model, after which the painted object can be erased. In my In Model Materials, the name Color H01 isn't very descriptive, so I'll change the name to Light Blue. Now I can find light blue in the profile material list. I also want to make interior walls 12 inches lower than the exterior walls. So I'll unlock the aspect ratio and change the height to 10 feet. I'll select one of the walls, click Edit Member Properties, choose All Properties, and Apply. Now this wall is blue and a foot shorter. But say I want to change all interior walls, not just one. To get the attributes of the original interior wall back in the Profile dialog, I'll click Get Attributes, then click any of the original walls. The Profile dialog now displays all the attributes of the wall I just clicked. Now I want to select all profile members with the original attributes, to change them at once to the new attributes. To do this, I'll click Select Members by Attributes. This tool selects profile members in the model whose specified attributes match what's currently displayed in the profile dialog. If I choose only to select members with the same placement point, rotation, and mirror, I'll get all profile members in the model, including exterior walls and the modified interior wall. If I clear the selection and select by attribute again, this time adding profile to the checklist, I'll get all interior walls, including the modified one. This is because the modified wall still has the same profile name. So I'll clear and select attributes again, and this time I can also check material to differentiate between the two types of walls. Or I can just select all properties so that everything selected will be an exact match. Now all original walls are selected, and not the modified wall. I'll get light blue back for the material, reduce the height again, edit member properties, and apply to change them all at once. For another useful application of Get Attributes, say I close and reopen the model, but I didn't save the interior wall profile, so it's not listed here anymore. I need to add two more walls for this closet, so I can simply click Get Attributes, click a wall I want to copy, click Build, and add in the walls for the closet I left out before. Profile Builder has several options for trimming and extending profile members. The tool I'll show here is Trim to Face. The first click, indicated by the 1 on the cursor, is the face to trim to, 
which will be this wall. Next comes click 2, the profile member to trim, which is this wall. I can then click this wall to trim it to the same face. Now these two junctions are clean. I can press escape to reset back to click 1, then continue clicking sets of faces and walls to trim until all junctions look good. This tool works for extending profile members as well. To make a change to the shape of a profile member, in this case the exterior walls, I can first double click the profile member while the select tool is active. Then I'll click Edit Profile. The original profile appears within its own group in a head on view and full screen zoom. I can make any change I want to this profile as long as it remains a single 2D face. Keep in mind that if I make the face wider, such as by adding a step along the left edge, this will also move the bottom left placement point farther to the left, which will in turn affect the placement of the entire profile member relative to its path. But if instead I add some small cutouts along the left edge, the placement point will remain as is. When finished, I'll right click and choose Close Group, and I'm asked if I want to make this change only to the profile member I double clicked or to all of the profile members with the same name. In this case, the exterior walls are all one group, so either option has the same result. And the details I added appear along the entire profile member. Finally, I can also change the path of a profile member. I'll double click the same set of exterior walls and click the Edit Path icon. I can see the path going around the floor plan, but it's much easier to see the path when the rest of the model is hidden. I can do this in my View, Component Edit menu, and I have a keyboard shortcut set up for this. We highly recommend setting up a shortcut since you'll want a quick way to toggle the model on and off while editing profile paths. Keyboard shortcuts can be set up in the Preferences window on the Shortcuts tab. I'll search for Hide, find the relevant command in the View menu, and here's the shortcut I set up. Back in my model, I'll use my shortcut to hide the rest of the model, and now I have a clear view of the path. I can change the exterior walls by adding a new bump out here, and even if I leave a face within the path, I'll still get the correct results. I could also add a new set of three walls here, and a new building out here. When I close the path group, I'll get a message that multiple paths were found, and I'll click OK. I have my bump out, the new attached walls, and the new building. This operation has caused the exterior walls to face the wrong way, so I'll shift select them and reverse them. In the next video, I'll cover extending and splitting profile members, as well as other trimming features of Profile Builder.